to add or subtract rational expressions having different polynomial denominators, we first need to find the least common denominator. So we'll factor the first denominator which factors into a difference of squares, x minus 3 times x plus 3. The other denominator, x squared minus 3x, factors into a largest common factor of x with the remainder of x minus 3. The least common denominator then of these two denominators has to have an x, a factor of x minus 3, and a factor of x plus 3. We'll now work with each of these rational expressions to determine an equivalent expression that has that least common denominator in it. So for the first one, I'll replace the original denominator with its factored form, x minus 3, x plus 3. The only factor it's missing of the least common denominator is x. Putting x over x is the same as multiplying by 1. Next, we move to the next rational expression, and again replacing the denominator with its factored form. We see that we are missing the x plus 3 from the least common denominator here, so putting that same value over itself is the same as multiplying by 1. Next, we'll simplify by multiplying numerators in the first rational expression, giving us x squared over that common denominator of x minus 3, x plus 3, and I'm going to move that x to the front so I don't forget it, plus here our multiplication involves a distributive property where 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 3 is 9, again, over that common denominator of x times x minus 3 times x plus 3. We now have the requirement for any addition or subtraction of rational numbers, that being common denominators. We can go ahead then and combine the numerators, x squared plus 3x plus 9 over the common denominator of x, x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 3. We want to simplify our answer if possible. After some inspection, it turns out the numerator is prime. We cannot come up with factors of 9 that add up to be 3, so we're done with this problem. Here in this next one, we're adding these two rational expressions with different denominators. The least common denominator, since we only have a factor in each one, will be that product. So our next step will be to find equivalent rational expressions to what we started with, but containing that least common denominator, which is the product of those two. So the first rational number needs to be multiplied by x minus 3 and expressed this way. I'm multiplying by 1. The second rational expression has the x minus 3, but it's missing the x plus 6 factor, and expressing it as a fraction, it's equivalent to 1, and multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. Next course is to simplify by performing the multiplication We'll use FOIL method in the numerator, x times x, first terms, gives us x squared. Outer terms would be a negative 3x, inner would be a positive 3x, which are additive inverses. And then last terms multiplied together is a negative 9 over the common denominator of x plus 6 times x minus 3. Multiplication here, first terms, gives us an x squared. Outer is 6x, inner is 5x, adds up to be 11x, and last terms multiplied together gives us 30 over that common denominator of x minus 3 times x plus 6. Although they're not identical, we do have the same two factors in the denominators. 
commutative property would show that they are the same. That means we can now go ahead and add those rational expressions together by combining the numerators, x squared plus x squared, the like term, is a 2x squared. And if we put this in decreasing order, I'm going to put the linear term next, and last, constant terms, negative 9 plus 30 is a positive 21, all over that common denominator. And I am going to leave it in factored form for the next step where we need to consider whether our rational expression needs to be simplified. In the numerator, after some consideration, we find that it is not factorable, it's prime, and so we do have this in simplified form.